Remember this game? The one where we broke our iPads over. No? Just me? Well, this is Floppy Bird. The best game in- The second best game in the world. And since I'm completely dark about it, I've decided to code an algorithm that plays Floppy Bird. Now going straight to the point, I have to find a good website to play Floppy Bird on. This one seems good. Guess I'll use that to make my auto Floppy Bird player. Spoilers, I did not use this site. I want to start off by developing a method of even playing this game. In other words, an algorithm. Here I have sketched a general Floppy Bird layout. Usually the space between the pipes is just a tad bit larger than how high Floppy Bird can jump. So we need to make sure Floppy Bird is never under a specific line between the top and bottom pipe when Floppy jumps. We can start off by scanning the column where the new pipes emerge from and we find the opening. Then using some fancy formula called linear interpolation or whatever to find about 10% of the space from the bottom to the top. We can compare the height of Flappy and this line. If Flappy is lower than it, then we click. If Flappy is higher, then we don't click. We can use a similar method to scan for Flappy's position. We can get the column where it flies and we scan from top to bottom until we find Flappy. Okay, we figured out something, but how do we know when to check for the next pipe? Well, we can check if Flappy has passed the pipe by looking before Flappy. If the column before Flappy is not the color of the sky, then we check for the next pipes. Here is a short montage of me coding and trying out things as I explain to you all the pain and suffering I had to experience. My first issue arose when I tried to scan the screen in Java. Since I have a 4K screen and everything seems so small, I set the zoom thing to 225%. Now ancient Java doesn't know that, so it takes a picture about four times larger than the viewable screen. So all the screen scans end up looking like the darkness of the city of Ember. I didn't know how to fix this, so I sacrificed my eyeballs and set my screen back to 100% zoom. All was working well, right? Nope! For some reason, the top left corner of the screen is 0, 0 while the bottom right was 3840 by 2160. I thought we were on a Cartesian plane, not an inverse Cartesian plane. Either way, I had to smick smack paddywhack my calculations for the target height of Flabby to work. Basically, by using linear interpolation, something you can use to create smexy Bezier curves, I was able to precisely find a place between the bottom of the top pipe and the top of the bottom pipe. Screw you Pythagorean theorem midpoint distance formula, I do not need the midpoint. Anyways, 10% from the bottom to top was definitely not working. This is because I'm scanning for Flappy from top to bottom. So the head of Flappy would be its quote, Y value. Not to mention, I tried using Flappy's lustrous yellow fur, but then I realized its white wing sometimes screws the program over because Newton decided to make things rotate while falling over. Wish 60 more apples fell on them. Anyways, I used Flappy's outline instead and increased the target percentage to 45% from 10%. Now you may think all is fine now, right? Well, absolutely not. For some reason, the website wouldn't register my code's click. Probably it clicks like a bajillion times faster than I do, but I thought it was my code. Always blame yourself before others. Mars? Shards? Anyways, after about 60 tries at changing the floppy Y value check interval and target percentage, I ended up going to sleep. Good morning, and it's the 25th of December. Happy holidays, y'all. Anyways, I got back to work with 10 tablespoons of salt in my mouth. Since I wanted more freedom, I ended up finding a decent looking scratch project on Scratch, edited it a bit so the background is consistent because for some damn reason there are two versions, night and day, and made the pipes more attractive. So hot. This time it worked. The first try I got to 3000, but I wasn't satisfied. You see this record, 9813 points by a feeble human? If a bot doesn't get to 10,000, I will cry in public. And as a shard of Mars, that has borrowed a pint of Elon Musk's intellectual mind, I got a thousand on the second try, and a hundred on the third. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. About 600 more tweaks later, which consisted of me changing the target value, changing how I checked for the pipes, and setting coordinates of everything known to humankind, it worked, kinda. It reached about 6,000 points before it magically commit and died, and my computer can't handle the large two hour video, Heck, it was pleading with me to put it out of its misery as I typed this damn script up. Anyways, I believed it had to do with having like 6 million Google tabs open, because you know, we love searching for stuff. I ran the program again, I ended up reading no books, and watched approximately 1080 10 second TikToks before I saw the counter reach somewhere around 9990. 
I recorded it to 10,000 and it died on 10k sharp because the final zero decided to mess with my program by completely obliterating the new pipe scanner. Anyways, enjoy the 0 to 10k montage while I die in peace.